to the development of technologies such as AR and VR and the desire for a more realistic screen, the so-called premium display market is growing. What's important in premium displays are clearer and more vivid colors, in addition to the existing high efficiency and good image quality. As the importance of vivid colors increases, the standard for the color space called REC 2020 has also been suggested. Considering that China is quickly catching up to Korea's display market, pioneering the premium display market is becoming more important. For vivid colors, emitters with high color purity are necessary. To this end, we need to develop new material-based emitters that are completely different from the existing materials. From this point of view, research on OLEDs and QLEDs using organic and inorganic quantum dot emitters, which are currently dominating the premium display market, is being conducted to overcome the limitations of existing LCDs. However, the existing organic and inorganic quantum dot emitters cannot meet the color coordinates of REC 2020 of the next era. That's because they have a light-emitting spectrum with full width at half maximum about 50 nanometers and 30 nanometers respectively. In the case of organic emitters, they emit light according to their molecular structure. Since a new molecular structure needs to be designed to generate different emission wavelengths, it is very difficult to control them. Inorganic quantum dot emitters incur high costs due to precise material synthesis methods and delicate manufacturing processes to control their size. Recently, there has been a case of developing a new light-emitting material with high color purity away from these existing materials. The research team, led by Professor Itteu of Seoul National University, succeeded in developing a high-color purity light-emitting material with a full width at half maximum of 20 nanometers in the emission spectrum using a perovskite material as an emitter. The perovskite material is an organic-inorganic hybrid material and has the advantages of both the organic and inorganic quantum dot emitters. The team successfully manufactured a highly efficient LED based on a perovskite material. They prove the potential of perovskite LEDs as the next generation display technology. Perovskite is an iron bonding material with an AVX3 structure. Originally, perovskite is known as a material that is mainly used in solar cell due to its high mobility and high absorption coefficient. Due to its weak binding energy between electrons and holes in the perovskite crystals, the material is suitable for solar cells that convert light energy into electrical energy, but is not suitable as a display material that generates light using electrical energy. To use this perovskite material for displays, we try to decrease the dissociation between electrons and holes by reducing the size of perovskite crystals to several nanometers or several tens of nanometers. This idea was initiated by our group and published in Science Paper in 2015. We synthesized perovskite nanoparticles uh, as one of the ways to reduce the crystal size. By developing a method to synthesize perovskite nanoparticles with a high luminous efficiency of 10 nanometers, we overcame the fundamental limitations of the emitters and implemented highly efficient LED. In particular, the perovskite nanoparticles synthesized by our teams are simple to synthesize and have high color purity that is not affected by particle sizes. That's why our nanoparticles are suitable for next generation display materials. The characteristics of the perovskite nanoparticles developed by the research team are as follows. Unlike conventional chalcogenide quantum dots, perovskite nanoparticles do not change their emission wavelengths over a certain particle size. Since it is easy to synthesize high color purity nanoparticles with over 90% photoluminescence efficiency without a shell, complicated processes are unnecessary to precisely control nanoparticles. In particular, nanoparticles can be synthesized at room temperature, which can greatly reduce processing costs for mass synthesis. 
In order to commercialize perovskite emitters, it is necessary to develop emitters with high efficiency and long lifetime whose LED devices can be operated not only with excellent color purity, but also with low electrical power. To manufacture such highly efficient perovskite emitters, it is very essential to control defects present in perovskite emitters. Researchers around the world are preoccupied with finding more effective ways to control defects. Recently, the research team led by Professor E developed a method to effectively suppress the defects of perovskite nanoparticles and generated highly efficient perovskite nanoparticles and highly efficient perovskite LEDs. Our team synthesized highly efficient nanoparticles through two combined strategies to control defects. First of all, we use guanidium to suppress defects inside perovskite crystals. Compared with methyl ammonium and fluoroaminidium that are mainly used for perovskite crystals, guanidium has more amines, which are three. So three hydrogen bonds can be formed per molecule inside perovskite crystals. Adding guanidium to the inside of perovskite crystals we create additional hydrogen bonds and stabilize the crystals. Additional guanidium uh, that fail to enter the crystals is located on the surface of the perovskite nanoparticles. Then it is combined with PV, which has an incomplete bond that may exist on the crystal surface, removing the defects on the surface. Additionally, uh, once even the defects suppressed nanoparticles were coated as thin film, the film surface still has the halide defects that occur during perovskite film formation. We reduced the halide defects on the film surface using halide based molecule called TPTB. With these two comprehensive methods to suppress the defects of nanocrystals and on their film surface, we were able to create the world's most efficient perovskite LED uh, with an external conduct efficiency of 23.4%. The research team's defect control technology was recognized by the international community as overcoming the limitations of perovskite materials as emitters and opening the possibility of commercialization of next-generation emitters. The study was published in one of Nature's sister journals, Nature Photonics, the world's most prestigious journal in photonics. The research proved that through efficient defect controls, a new perovskite material with excellent color purity can achieve efficiency similar to that of commercially available organic and inorganic quantum dot emitters. Hopefully, related research will be actively conducted so we can open the next generation display market and secure national competitiveness in the display field. <laughs>